Hi, this is Brian McHenry, McHenry Software. We're going to do a quick demonstration of how to use the polygon or 3D vehicle definition when simulating collision interaction. What we're seeing right here is just a traditional smack impact with two vehicles. What you're not seeing is that they are actually rectangles. So although they look like they miss, if you actually go up to our charts or with whatever version of smack you're using, you'll see that there is an interaction. Now, we talk about these for very low speed impacts. Obviously, if they were going faster, there'd be a bigger difference. But you notice there is a uh, interaction between the two. If we actually go out and on one of the options of M smack is that you go and you can go out to the grid or run the 2D graphic summary or run the 2D animation. And if we rotate that, we hit F3 to rotate it, or you can actually here use this clockwise, counterclockwise. And we bring that down. And you'll see that if you then hit the, oops, so you can hit rotate clockwise, counterclockwise, or you can also hit collision display on. And then when we hit go, you see how there is actually some interaction. It's not that significant. Obviously, in different scenarios you may have, we've had people say, hey, when they impact each other, they sometimes show forces and, and which aren't occurring in the actual accident. So how we've gotten about to correct that is what is called polygon. And how do you turn on the polygons? Well, let's go back to the beginning, whether at the start. Well, first, this was created by just pulling in a couple vehicles. I didn't put in the background because it's just to demonstrate, but in a particular case you have, if you have a couple vehicles that are, have a minor interaction or something, we go over here to the simulated vehicle model and specs. You notice you can actually pull up to change graphic model, can change some of the items that are on when you hit select vehicle. Now this also can be uh, happened by just, notice when I click select vehicle 2, this same um, menu comes up on the right. Also, one of the things that's in there is to be able to select the actual vehicle because sometimes it's out of field of view or something or when you're doing 3D, sometimes it can get seem to be underneath the terrain. That way you can actually uh, select it. But on this menu, there is also what is called use polygon boundary. And when you turn that on, you can also just for when you first start using it to get familiar, you can show the polygon boundary. Now it goes, it generates it, and you notice the little white. Now when we actually run the simulation, see it doesn't look like they hit. They just barely, if there is anything, we see if they did hit. And we look at the acceleration, and you see there's no acceleration, no, in, no interaction. And now we see here a comparison of the two runs, the one with the rectangular vehicle. You see how there's an interaction. Now it's less than half a G has some interaction, whereas in the case where we use the polygon definition or the 3D graphical definition of the vehicle, there is no interaction. And also we can go out to the classic M edit and go to the 2D, selecting clockwise rotation. Just this particular scenario happened to be rotated. But then you also, what we now have is if you say load vehicle one object, a definition of that is created. And you see how now when we run it, we're going to hit the show collision display. And we say go. See that there's no interaction because the polygons do not intersect. And we can even zoom in a little more. Let's hit pause. And here we go again. Because there's no interaction between the polygons, we don't see the collision, the reference collision vectors. I guess we could also, by hitting the key, you can bring on the speeds and velocities at the side. And here you see a direct comparison of the polygon definition on the bottom and the rectangular on the top. You notice the rectangular has some force and there are some differences, 19.8 versus 19.9. You're going to have some changes in angular, etc. The higher speed difference, etc., the more there might be a difference. So this is just to give you an idea of in a scenario where you have cars that just barely miss, consider using the polygon definition. For generally higher speed, it doesn't really make any difference because the time lapse is so much shorter. Let's go ahead and look at that comparison one more time. If I turn off the polygons and I run it again, you 
You see the interaction? I'm going to go ahead and grab that. But I use a program called Snagit. And then we go ahead and we just turn on polygons. We don't have to show the display, but let's go ahead and run it now. And we say, go to the chart. Let's go ahead and grab that one. And now we look and you see we brought in the Snagit. I put both of them on the same frame, but you see that there's that minor blip between them. For your particular collision, there may be some more interaction, etc. but this just gives you a way to make sure you don't hit until the actual rounded corners interact. If you have any questions, please let us know, and we appreciate you watching. Thank you.